All right, so as you can see, the spring breakout quests are now live, and I already covered the daily quest for today where you could get a free back bling. That one was pretty much self-explanatory, and it showed you what to do. So assuming you have that one done, you should be 1 out of 12 and 1 out of 22 for the other two big rewards up there. Of course, 12 quests will get you the hammer, 22 will get you the glider. However, did you know that you can get the pickaxe today? So the normal spring breakout challenges, there's three of them. Gather laid eggs, spend bars, and survive storm phases. For some reason, and I don't know if it's supposed to be like this, but it is, each stage acts as if you completed a full challenge. So for example, the spend bars one, there's five stages, so that's five challenges right there. So let's add those up. There's five, three, and four. That's 12 challenges plus the one you already did for the daily, 13 total. And you only need 12 to get the pickaxe. So before I show you how to do them, I just want to prove that this is true. So as you can see, I've already got one of them fully completed, and I'm on stage four of four for the storm phases, which goes up to 40, by the way, and still on stage one for the spend bars. But as you can see up top, I'm at seven out of 12 because each stage is a separate challenge for some reason. So let me show you how to do the gather laid eggs challenge first. This one's really fun, actually. So I normally find chickens around Breakwater Bay up here, but Frenzy Fields, I'm sure, has at least a few. So let's land on there because we want to be in the circle, obviously. We don't want our chicken to die. So I'm pretty sure that any chicken in the game now can lay these eggs. And that's what we got to collect. So we got to find a chicken, box ourselves up. Hopefully nobody finds us and kills us. And we should get eggs. Now, obviously, visualized audio will help immensely with this. If you see the chicken indicator, there's one nearby. So let's be like a hawk and scan the grounds for some chickens. Wait, there's some eggs right there, which means there is a chicken. Yeah. So we can eat these. Actually, let's just gather them. It says gather. So if you follow this guy around long enough, he'll poop out a bunch of eggs. Let's box him up, though. Oh. <gasps> Did I get him? I think I... I think I got him. I did. So he's going to be pooping eggs galore in here. Let me just build up around our whole area so nobody comes in. I'm sure someone's going to see my builds and be like, what is going on here? But hopefully they just think it was an old battle. He got out! What the? How did he do that? All the eggs disappeared too. Wait a minute. How did... Wait, did one hatch out of the egg? What the? I think they can hatch from the eggs. Alright, poop me some eggs, sir. Yeah, so this is what you gotta do. Just stay in here with them and they'll poop out a lot of eggs. What do these eggs do? These are heal and low gravity. And sometimes they can poop gold ones, I think. Oh, yeah. Okay, so as you can see, I have trapped a chicken in here. And he's just laying egg after egg after egg, making this super, super easy. I've already gobbled up almost all 30 of the eggs on stage 3 that you need. So I noticed, and as you saw a few seconds ago, sometimes the eggs will hatch and a chicken will pop out. I've been in this box for like three minutes now, and only one egg hatched into a chicken. Some of them just shook and then disappeared. So I don't know if you're only allowed to have two chickens in a vicinity or what, but after two of them spawned, then they just started disappearing. And it seems like you can only have a certain number of eggs in a box at a time. Otherwise, they start disappearing as well. Now of note, there are three different egg types. The green ones are heal eggs, which do health and shield. The purple ones are the hop ones, which give you the low gravity effect and provide health. And the golden eggs will grant bars. Now I've only ever seen one golden egg so far. So they're super rare. I tried to farm some gold by hoarding these guys in a box, but only one egg ever got produced. And it gave 350 gold. So you can't pick these up, you have to collect them but you do get 350 gold. That is insane. And the spring chickens, by the way, can be green or blue. So obviously if you get a green one, they're gonna poop out the green eggs. If you get a purple blue one, then they'll do the hop rock eggs. 
and I think all of them can poop out the gold eggs. It's just super, super rare. And of course, you can feel free to share with your teammates if you're doing this in Team Rumble. They may see what you're doing, come in and eat some eggs. But remember, you have to gather them. You can't pick them up and then drop them for someone else. So stage three is 30, so you need 30 laid eggs in total. Pretty easy once you do this strategy. So next up is survive storm phases. And again, as you can see, there's 40 in total. That's a lot of storm phases. So what I've been doing while I edit my videos, I just load up Team Rumble and then let it play out. This is a great opportunity to unlock the brand new augments, AKA the perks, as well as survive storm phases. So in Team Rumble though, you can only get unfortunately about three or four storm phases per match, depending on how long it goes. That's about it. I average three most of my games. So obviously doing solos, duos, trios, or squads is way better because you can get up to nine or 10 phases easy. But if you're not actually focusing on the game and you'd much rather be AFK, then Team Rumble is an easy way to do it. Of course, it's gonna take a few hours, but that's an easy way to go. Otherwise, just play normal and you'll eventually get 40 storm phases. And lastly, we have to spend bars. And there's five different stages, so you need a lot of gold. So let's go into Team Rumble and we'll spend some gold. Hopefully it's not a lot because I only have about 3,500 right now. Let's try. All right, so how am I gonna spend gold in Team Rumble? I gotta find a vending machine or an upgrade station. And remember, you pretty much are guaranteed three storm phases in Team Rumble. So I will be getting that challenge done this match, 100% guaranteed. All right, so there's an upgrade station right here. So I guess I'll just spend a boatload of gold right here. The first one is 500 gold. So let's go ahead and upgrade our scar. You can't upgrade the scar? What? Okay, I guess we're doing gold for these. Well, that was 400 gold right there. So stage two is 800. All right. I need another weapon. Kind of dumb that you can't upgrade some of these. Oh, of course we get a gold shotgun. Are you kidding me? What's going on here? How about this dumb Cobra? I hate the Cobra so much. I hate it. There's a 250. There's another one. So stage four is another 400. All right. Stage five is another 400. Let's see if I can go over to this vending machine and just blow a little bit of gold real quick. I still got a little bit left. So let's spend about 400 gold here. We'll buy all these. How much was that? Oh, we're close. Is that enough? Nope. There we go. So now we're at 12. We should have completed it. There it is. We got it. Wow. And there it is. The Nanner Bloom Hammer. Smack them with springtime, it says. That's funny. Oh, wow. Look at that. Are we going to get like a tuna fish type style of a skin? Because these kind of look cell shaded in anime. It's not part of a set, but it's pretty clean. I love that splash effect. So there you go, provided your challenges didn't glitch out and you didn't lose your storm phase one, you should be able to get the back blink for free and the pickaxe right away. Now we're only gonna get, as far as I know, one challenge per day until the end of the event now. So it'll be a few days before we get that glider. There you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.